Hey guys, Ben Taylor here from PS Tutorials and it's Wishlist Wednesday, which means we have an awesome tutorial for you to enjoy. Today's tutorial has been brought to us by Derek, who is one of our community members here at PS Tutorials. So remember guys, if you have any questions, just write in and ask and then I'll make a tutorial out of them. It's that simple. But today's question was, how is it possible to change the shape and size of your facial features in Photoshop? It's a great question, Derek. And Adobe brought out around about 2015 an update called Face Aware Liquify. This is a tool in Photoshop which you can use simply and easily to change the shape of your facial features. So in today's tutorial, I'm firstly going to show you how to use this tool so you can get comfortable with it and use it yourself. And then importantly, the next step, I'm going to show you exactly what kind of images you can use this tool on. So let's jump into today's tutorial and get started. Let's start by creating a duplicate layer, Control or Command J. Now let's show you where the Liquify tool is. If you go up to Filter at the top, click on it and then come down to Liquify, this is going to open up the Liquify filter tool. Now we're only going to be concentrating on the face aware Liquify. This can be found on the left hand side. You can see a bunch of tools. And if you come down towards the bottom, you can see a little, it looks like an outline of a person. If you click on that, that's the face aware tool. If you hover over the man's face in front of us, you can see the outline that comes around it and this is the area that we can change with the face aware liquify tool so let's go on to the right hand side and then actually click the drop down here and then this shows us some of the options which we have to change we can see we have eyes nose mouth and face shape now this can be affected or changed here on the image See, so I can come onto the eyes here, I can come onto the nose, and you can see these different markings which can change the different areas of the face. You can also change that over here. So I can click on eyes, and then you can see that you have all these different areas of the eyes that you can change. The size, the eye distance, the eye tilt, the eye width. It really gives you a lot of different options. So this can be changed here as well so if i click on one of these points and move it around you can see i'm changing the shape and size of the eye so i'm going to drag this to the side now and drag this down and you can see that i'm moving this around and this is represented in these boxes here so let's just click these back to zero now i can also do it with the sliders i can move the sliders up and down and this is going to change the size or the distance or the width or whatever options I'm moving around. So this is super cool. You have two ways of changing it. You can change it on the image or alternatively, you can change it on these sliders. Now you've also got eye distance here, which you can move up and down. I don't think this looks particularly good in most instances. So let's move on from the eyes now and then go on to the nose. So once again, you have options. This time you have a few less. Now you can change it on the image or you can use the sliders again. So I'm going to come onto the image and if I just click here and drag down, you can see that I'm changing the height of the nose, which is super cool. It's so easy to do. Now let's do the same with the width, I'm just dragging, clicking and changing it. And once again, you can also do this with the sliders. So it's whichever way you prefer. Let's go onto the mouth. And once again, with the mouth, like the eyes, we have more options. Let's just move the smile slider up here. And you can see that we're changing the shape of the mouth. And it's, I mean, that's way too far. But I mean, if you bring it down and then you just push it up a little bit, then you can actually get a really realistic looking smile. So let's go on and move a few of these options around. And this is what it's all about, really. Just going on to the different options you have available in each part of the face and then just moving them around to kind of find the look the way you want it to so let's have a look at the before and then the after you can see just with a few subtle changes we've made quite a big difference to the mouth let's click these back to zero 
And then finally, let's go on to the face shape. Now, instead of using the sliders, I'm going to go back onto the image. So I'm going to push this up, the chin here, and then just pull the forehead down. Let's have a look at the before and then the after. And you can just see it's just a small change, but it's made quite a bit of difference. So we've learned how to use these tools within the Face Aware Liquify, and I think you'll agree they're actually really easy to use. The kind of tools you can just go onto and make small changes. So it's a great tool, but the thing that you need to avoid when using this tool is going too far with it. Now, this is just something that I see on the internet all the time, and it's people where they've kind of used this tool and they've pushed the sliders right up and it just looks, well, it looks ridiculous. So let's show you what I mean. I mean, if you start dragging these sliders around, so I'm pulling the tilt down and that's making the eyes look pretty bad. And then let's go onto something else and move that around. So let's drag the eyes up here and do the same on the other side, drag it down. You can start seeing how the eyes now, they just don't look real at all. And when you're doing kind of retouching work, especially if you're working for a client, I'm not saying that most of you will be watching these videos, but from my experience, clients like images to be realistic, especially now, um, the way the industry's changed. So the main thing to understand is to underuse the tool rather than overuse it. So we've learned how to use this tool. Now let's learn how to use it on different images. So with this image, I'm going to there's nothing really much to do to this image, to the facial features, but I think the nose could do with being just a little less wide. So I'm just dragging it in slightly here. And let's have a look at the before and the after. So this is the before and the after. So it's a subtle change, but it's actually really made an improvement to the look of the face. So let's click OK on this one. Now I actually have two more images in this tutorial, which we're going to go and make changes to. So the first one, let's click on to here. Now this is a picture of a beautiful young woman. It's a beautiful portrait image. So let's create a duplicate layer and then choose our liquify tool. When this loads, I'm going to make a few changes. So I'm going to make a change to the nose, the width of the nose. So I'm just going to come on the image here and I'm just going to drag this in at the side, change the width. And then I think I'm going to make a bit of difference on the side of the face. I'm just going to drag that in, the face width here. And also the forehead, I'm just going to drag that down slightly. And then I'm going to pull the chin up. And then you can start seeing that I'm making all these changes. And even though it looks pretty good, I think it's been taken too far. And this is obviously the danger of overusing this tool. So let's show you what I mean. If I if I now come down and then click on the previous, just drag the chin up a little bit more. The face looks very nice now, but you will not believe how much we've changed it. So let's just come down to the preview. This is the before and this is the after. And we've took it a million miles from where it was before. Now it doesn't look terrible, but it does look a bit unrealistic. So it's important to be more subtle with the changes like this. Just start bringing a bit of the width back. Let's have a look at before and the after. And it's still a bit far from where it was originally. So I'm just going to drag the chin down as well. And that's starting to look more natural now. Um, so I think we're going to leave it there. So when you've finished the changes, just come down, click OK. This is the third image. Now, I actually really like this image. It's a lovely shot. But this image, it stood out to me that what I do, I think the mouth's open just a little bit too much in this image. So I thought this image would be really good to show you how to just make a change with the mouth. So currently the mouth's open a bit too much. So the change we're going to make is we're going to bring the mouth height up. First thing to do is just to click off these um, areas we've got open at the moment. This just keeps things a bit more organized. So let's just click that off there and then do the same as well and then click open mouth now I'm going to bring the height the mouth height slider down in fact all the way down and this is going to bring the gap in the middle of the mouth closer to the lips and then I'm going to change the size of the bottom lip because at the moment it's a bit big so I'm just going to push the slider up and then decrease the size of the bottom lip and she's got kind of like a smiley expression so I'm just going to enhance that just by pushing the smile up 
and I think that's lovely and it's just a quick subtle change let's have a look at the before and the after and that's made a lot of difference and this is how the tool should be used so the thing to remember is with the face aware liquify tool that less is more so I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and I hope you found it really helpful most of all if you're actually interested in portrait or beauty retouching, I've created a complete premium course which you can get here, which will be showing up up there, which shows you all professional techniques from start to finish in the retouching portrait and beauty process. So you should check that out if that's your kind of thing, because that's going to show you how to become a pro. Now, otherwise, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you can be notified of new tutorials every single week. Whatever you do today, guys, have an amazing day and I hope to see you all again soon.